Welcome guys, welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast. I know it's been a while, but well, I had to take care of some academic stuff and some other stuff. And to be honest, you know, to be frankly honest, I haven't been reading that much choices. I mean, yeah, I am reading choices. I have choices installed in my phone because, you know, choices is my love, choices is my life. So I can barely go on with choices uh, without reading one choices book at least a week. So, well, I am currently reading been reading the high school story class act for a past few months now since bolus 2 ended and i know i promised i would bring a review of bolus 2 i'll bring that out you know i just want to make everything i've got covered i finished it quite well so well the recent choices books are just uh, they're feeling not just the same kind of pattern i've talked about the same smudge sequel because i was reading i just want to quickly talk through this i was reading dirty little secrets and here's what happened so Charlotte, and here are some spoilers if you haven't read the book yet. So um, listen with your own with caution, you know. So what happens is that Charlotte and our main character we were having this conversation, and uh, Charlotte definitely had a wife who died, and we think that she's having problem letting us in. So what Charlotte does is that she thinks that burning her ex-wife's things would make it easier to make. A room for us in her heart so she won't have any memories or any you know she'll let go of all the past um, baggages in a way but she burned things like that had her memory but now she has a daughter now those are also important to her like she burned some um, bagel pan or something I don't remember uh, pancake pans, so all oven. So that was really meaningful to Evit, her daughter. And it's like, what the hell is going on? This is not choices. Choices is a deeper emotional connection. Like they write books with that. So that scene was over the top for me. Like, you don't need to burn things and let go of things to forget. How can you forget your ex-wife like that? I think that was so sick in a way because I have had choices books where this kind of thing happened. Even I think uh, the nanny affair. Give credit to this book. It wasn't like letting go of your ex in the first two books when Sam knew that their wife were dead so this is something that choices i i don't see the old choices the emotion the connection between big groups it's just um it's just headless smart this is going rabbit um two rabbits are in a bug there's no motion now that being said as a story i think i enjoyed dirty little secrets it was a good smart story but these kind of scenes and having more characters i think could have made it even better it's good but not like that good i would say all right so let's come back to the insider of february and january so let's start off with february and we have a book coming out so it's also sort of uh, we'll uh, review the book that we have coming and that is uh, immortal desire so the insider says it's the insider of love so um, they get to make you choose which immortal desires, love interest has your heart, cascade, or both. I know a lot of people are going to vote for both. Um, actually, I'll make a poll about that on my channel and see how many of you like cast, how many of you like game, and how many like both or none of them. I'll actually add another one that they didn't. Uh, so they say the Hot Shark came out in January, which is a sporty romance book. And then they talk about the deadliest gambit, the prequel to deadliest game. Um, so, and that had a male main character for one chapter. Actually, a lot of people were shocked at like, wow, choices are actually doing something interesting. Like a really multiple love interest, murder mystery book. And it has also a VIP only prequel, but you know, it was really special. And then they also sort of talk about it again. The news that Story Loom is closing down. So that date is also coming soon, I guess, February the 29th. And then they talk about behind the scenes. You return to Crimson Beach is eminent. Check out these behind the scene pieces straight from the Immortal Z2 team. So first off, you know it, you love it. It's the emoji cipher. What does this clue tell you about our upcoming vampire shenanigans? So there's a vampire emoji, the blood drop, I guess starry sign, bow. So, Bo and um, 
arrow that definitely like hunting so maybe we're gonna see a vampire hunter this time remember gabe talking about how the vampire hunter and she was on the wrong side and her family history you might see something about that then a kissing emoji you know what that means uh whoa, whoa, whoa wait does that mean we get to flirt with the hunter first like in all most of the books we are actually flirting with the um evil characters an antagonist take for radiance in you know in this case again you have a son so i don't know the like vampires have this um thing that they can't you know, go to the sunlight but the ley line keeps our crimson beach protected so i don't know if it would have something to do with that and there's a fear emoji there's sort of a fight leaf falling there's a blast and then two loves uh hearts one for gabe one for gas and one thing i don't understand they actually added a evil heart beside gabe and a red heart beside gas was that on intention on purpose was that intentional was that by mistake i don't know but that is so wrong let me know guys what you think about that and then some outfits to talk about. And then they say finally take a look at the incredible collectible screen that you'll encounter throughout the book. Huge props to our artists for bringing this to life. Any ideas as to what you'll be collecting? So there's a tree, the, the ley line tree with a lot of like collectibles, you know. So we can see some faces here. I'll actually see if I can uh, post it on YouTube. But, you know, you see that... Um, Love the, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven collectibles you have. So a lot of trapped faces and stuff. So I don't know what we'll be collecting. Then they answer some questions. Would you have ever considered making a firefighter book? We've got some good news for you. You may want to keep an eye out for an upcoming 2024 book, Hearts on Fire, Gender of Choice. Uh, so um, firefighter book. Will the deadliest game have multiple of interest? Yes, it would. Any new thrillers coming out this year? They say. Indeed, keep an eye out for a new generative choice, a multiple of interest when you're for a book. We hear it's a slasher. So it's not Deadliest Game. So another book coming out our way. I don't know which is it going to be. Is, do they hint toward the Firefighter book or is it another book? That would be interesting. And then they give out the books that are coming. Rivals with Benefits, Summer 2024, Hearts on Fire, Filthy Rage, Ghost of Us, Deadliest Game. So here's one interesting thing to notice. Around November, December, they also say there's a royalty book coming. Uh, I don't remember what was the name of the royalty book, but the f something called the... Um, something to do with the royalty book. Um, something like a princess swap book, but that is not on the upcoming book list now for the past two or three months since they broke out the news about story loom getting cancelled or getting shut down so i wonder if the writers for that book were the same as who are working on sterling because there are a lot of layoff news but i actually forgot the name of the filter which is still coming out hearts and fire is there the ghost of a deadliest game along came triple which is another rom-com kind of music book gender of choice it's very sad that the gender locking along came triple the ghost of his filthy rage and um Rivals with Benefits will also be gender of choice because, come on, it's a spin-off of uh, Friends with Benefits. But that's it. The next time we have Along Came Tribble and the Deadliest Game. So they talk about it. In the Along Came Tribble, they say, you will play as a junior manager at the Notorious Infinity Records, looking to make a name for yourself in the music industry. With a chance to manage the infamous rock star, Kai Kennedy presents itself to jump at the opportunity. Whether the decision is better for your career or your heart remains to be seen. The deadliest game. You will attend the glamorous murder mystery party with your wealthy best friend, but when tragedy unfolds under mysterious circumstances on the first night, you will need to use your experience in mystery, write it, decipher clues, make connections, and ultimately uncover the killer. So, oh my god, I'm excited for Desi's game actually, but let me know guys your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video with much more to come hopefully, and until then, peace out.